Hi, and welcome to this section of the Matrix Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to build upon what we've laid the foundation of in the last section, talking about matrices and the elements of a matrix and all of that stuff. We're going to continue learning about matrices, and specific in this section, we're going to talk about addition, subtraction, and multiplication of a matrix by a scalar. That's really important because it's a little bit different than multiplying a matrix by a matrix. Multiplying by a scalar just means you multiply the matrix by a number. A scalar is a fancy word that just means a number. That's really all it means. You'll see a lot of times in your book is a scalar multiplication. It just means multiplying by a number. So remember back from your basic algebra when you learned about a negative number. Okay, It was a foreign, crazy concept at first. And you had to learn how to add them. You had to learn how to subtract them. You had to learn how to multiply them. Okay, You had to learn all of those little rules that... Uh, Many of you guys that have been with me for a while learned it in part by watching the DVDs. You had to, to learn that stuff, and it was not something you were born with. So we're going to study how to add matrices and how to subtract them and how to multiply them by a number. Okay, We're going to go through these operations, just like you had to learn the basic operations of your exponents or whatever back, back before. And we're going to lay this foundation so that when you get to the more complicated stuff, it's not going to seem like a big deal. The good news is, and this is really, I do mean this with sincerity, Adding and subtracting and multiplying by a scalar by a number, really is what that means, is very, very simple with matrices. It's very, very simple. You're not going to have any problem with it at all, okay? To the long and short of it is to add two matrices together, they have to, be, uh, have, to have the same number of rows and columns, okay? They have to have the same number of elements, the same number of rows and columns, same order, that's what it means, same size and shape. And in order to add them or subtract them, all you do is you take the elements, the corresponding elements in the matrices, and you add them or subtract them. That's really all it is. You're looking at the corresponding ones, and you're adding and subtracting. Now, your books usually aren't going to phrase it that way. They're going to phrase it in a different way. I'm going to write that down just so when you're reading your book, you won't be lost as to what they're talking about. But that's really all it is. You're looking at the, the corresponding elements in the exact same positions, and you're adding them or subtracting them. That's how you do addition and subtraction in, uh, in matrices. So for matrix addition, okay, this is what you need to know. Two matrices... of the same order, let me go ahead and underline this right here, can be added. Okay, That's exactly what I said a minute ago. They have to have the same size and shape. Remember, the order is just the number of rows and number of columns, so they have to have the same order, the same number of rows and columns in order to add them. So all you do is you just add corresponding entries. Okay? And the way you're going to see this written in your textbook, in sort of in math language, okay, if you have a matrix that you're representing by the letter A, this, this letter A represents an entire matrix, okay, and you're adding it to another matrix that you're using to represent by a, by a different letter B, so this is matrix A and matrix B, and you want to add them together. What this says is that they have to have the same order. They have to have the same number of rows and columns. Otherwise, you cannot add them. It just it cannot be done. Whereas before, you can take any two numbers and add them, you know, from, from basic math, from, from first grade math. You can take any number and add it to any no other number. No problem. Matrices, not true. You cannot add a matrix this big with a matrix this big. You cannot do it. It does not exist. That's really, that's really what it boils down to. Okay? They have to have the same order. It means they have to